today in this video we will be going over how to design a double-sided A6 sized events card as shown here. When you open Scribus and have the new document window open, go to the size, change it to A6, and then your default unit to inches. Also change your number of pages to 2 since this is a double-sided document. Then click OK. We're first going to design the front of the card, so let's zoom in a little bit so that we can work just in that part of the document. First, let's create the orange box that's at the top of the page by going to the Insert Shape tool and drawing out a rectangle in the top portion of the document. As you can see, this rectangle has a black stroke on it and we do not want that. Let's go to the Colors property click here for the line color properties and choose none. Now before we can choose the fill color we must create the fill color since the orange in the example is not one of Scribus's default colors. To create a new color go to edit colors new. You can click on an orange spot in the color map to give you a starting point then you can play with the sliders to get the exact color that you're looking for. Remember to name your new color, and you can name it whatever you'd like. We're going to name it Bright Orange. Click OK. Click OK again. Make sure your shape is selected, and then in the Colors panel under Properties, make sure the fill color is selected, not the line color, and then choose your color you just made. Now we're going to create the navy portion of the document by going back to the Insert Shape tool and drawing another rectangle to fill the rest of the page. Again, Scribus automatically adds a black stroke to your shapes when you create them. So go back to the Colors panel, under Fill Line Properties, choose None, and then click back on Fill Color. The navy color that we want is not a Scribus default color, so remember to go to Edit, Colors, New. Click somewhere in the blue on the color map to give a good starting point. And then we can play with the sliders to give us the exact blue that we are looking for. Make sure the shape is still selected. Click on the Edit Fill Color Properties and choose the new color we just made. Now we can start adding our text. Go to the Text Frame tool, draw out a text box up here. Select the text we just wrote, go to the text panel and properties, and change the font to Babes New. We're going to make the font size 40 points, and we're going to change the font color to white. Next we can add the subhead by drawing another text box using the text frame tool. Select the text you just wrote under the text panel and properties, change this font to dancing script, change this color to white as well, and the font size to about 29. Next, let's add all of the events that will go in the navy portion of the document. Let's go to the text frame tool again, and draw out a text box here. We're going to use the same font for all of the event titles and the same font for all of the event info. Let's go to the text panel under properties. We're going to change the font to Babus New. We will change the font size to 21 and the text color to white. In the same text box, we're going to add the event information. We're going to make all of the event information Avenir Next font. So let's go to the text panel, choose Avenir Next, color is white, and we can leave the point size to be 12. Let's select everything in this text box and center it. To save time from having to draw out new text boxes and typing in the information every time and changing the fonts every time, we can select this text box and copy and paste it multiple times. You can right click and choose copy or you can do Command C if you're on a Mac computer or Control C if you are on a Windows computer. Once it's copied, you can either go to Edit and Paste 
or you can do Command V or Control V. Once you have the new text box pasted, it's going to copy it directly onto the original. You can hold down the Command or Control button once you click on the text box so that it will stay lined up with the other text box. Select both of these and do the same thing to copy and paste another row. And do this one more time. Now you can begin editing these other copies with the other events. Once we're done with all of these tweaks, the front page of the card is finished. To move on to the back page, scroll down to the second page we created. Use the Insert Shape tool to create another rectangle. This will cover the entire document. Again, Scribus automatically adds a stroke and we don't want that. So go to the Colors panel under Properties. Make sure the Line Color Properties is selected and choose None. Then go over to the fill color properties and choose the navy color we created earlier. The back part of the card is a lot easier to create since there's not as much text we're working with. Let's first create the title, which is contact, by going to the text frame tool. This font will also be Babes New, so that there's unity among the font choices in the document. Go to the text panel find Babus New. Font size is 40 and the color is white. Let's add the contact information for your church by going to the text frame tool again, drawing out another text box, and adding in your church information. Select all of the text in this text box, go to the text panel, Change the font to Avenir Next. The font size is 19 and the color is white. And remember to change the line spacing to automatic. Lastly, for the text, make sure that it's centered. Now we're going to add the church logo by going to the image frame tool. Right click and choose get image. Let's scale it down slightly by clicking on the image, going to the image panel, and bringing down the X scale and Y scale. Remember when you're working with the X scale and the Y scale that you make the values the same for both, so that the image you're working with will scale proportionately. Just a few final tweaks to make sure that everything looks good making sure the spacing looks even among all of the elements and that everything is centered. Make sure you go to File, Save, and then name your document. And that is how you can create a double-sided events card for your church.